Okay, returning to our soil analysis activity um, with the physical characteristics, um, we are now going to take a look at determining our different percentages for our soil separates. And we'll be using this example diagram uh, just to give us some, some idea of the calculations that we're supposed to be doing. And whenever we're done with that, um, we will then go up to the, the soil texture triangle uh, to determine the type of soil that we have. That information is entered here in C number one. And then we can also uh, you know, verify that using the calculator that provided by the US Department of Agriculture. So um, for this diagram right here, I have an enlargement. And so we're going to um, take a quick look at how to measure this. And so um, to start off, um, our zero level is gonna be at the base. And then we'll take a measurement up to the top of the sand. Then we'll take a measurement up to the top of the silt from the sand and then from the silt layer up to the top of the clay. And so this um, hopefully doesn't cause too much confusion, but you know, be as precise as you can be um, whenever you're making these measurements because we want to be sure that um, our values represent the soil that we actually collected. And here we go. And so um, what we're going to do is um, assume that uh, the values that I'm going to give you right now, these are some measurements that we actually took. So the sand layer, and we're going to say that that's 18. Um, the silt layer, we're going to say that's 7. And the clay layer, we're going to say that that's 10. And altogether, 10 plus 7 plus 18, that gives us 35. Uh, units aren't important here because whenever we do our percentages, the units end up canceling out. So this could be millimeters, uh, it could be... Uh, centimeters, inches, miles, whatever. Um, but it could also just be uh, the number of um, gradations on the graduated cylinder, okay? So let's do one sample calculation for the sand layer. So if we do 18, which is the height of the sand, and we divide that by the total height, so this is how we get the percentage that is made up of uh, the sand. We take the height that's um, for sand, 18, divide it by the height total, which is 35, um, we do that calculation, we get 0 0.5142 um, to get our percentage out of that. Um, we multiply that by 100, and we're going to round this value uh, because of significant digits here, and we're going to round that to 51%. So the sand layer, we have 51%. Um, our silt layer, if we do the same type of calculation for silt, we end up with 20%, and for the clay layer, we end up with 29%. And you know, just to check yourself very quickly, um, all of your percentages should add, should add up to 100, and 29 plus 20 is 49, and 51, that gives me 100%. So I know that I'm on the right track there. So now uh, what we want to do is we want to go up to our, we want to, excuse me, there we go. We want to go back to our, um, back to our worksheet. Um, let's go up to the triangle, because you need to be able to use a triangle on the actual AP exam. You can't just rely on a calculator or something like that. And so if we look at our sand, um, our sand value, if we go on the axis for that, about 51%. So that's roughly 51% there. Um, have a good idea where we're going as soon as we get in another value here. And so my silt was about 20%. And so I go along the line for that. And you can see where they're crossing. So that looks pretty pretty good there. And then my final check was the, um, the clay, which was about 29%. And I can see that they all end up um, crossing down here in what's known as the, sa uh, the sandy clay loam. So you can see that intersection there within that area. Okay, so now we know that we have sandy clay loam. So in our worksheet, we can go down um, to the uh, C, part C1, and I can type in that I have sandy, whoa, I guess I'm pretty excited about that answer. Uh, I have sandy clay loam. Okay. And then just to check that, I go to my calculator from the USDA, and I use my values. Um, for this right here, we didn't um, go over which type of sand it was, so we could have spent some time doing that, but uh, for our activity, we didn't do that. And also the color, I uh, see, oh yeah, this is just the color of, what does that have to do with the color of the soil? No, this has to do with um, the color that it's going to show up down on the graph. So yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so the percent sand that we had, we had 51% sand, and then the clay, 
uh, we had 29%. And that's all you need. You just need two values there. We can do get type. You can see it gives me the silt, which was 20, which is what we had. And it tells me it's sandy clay loam. Um, if I go down into the, into the uh, texture triangle, you can see that it had pretty much the same point that we had. Okay. So that should help you um, do your calculations, uh, figure out what the soil type is, the soil texture type is on your triangle. And then um, if you need to verify that, there you go. All right. Good luck. Maybe. Can I stop? I think so. Okay. So, all right.